All right, today, I'm not going to clap my hands. I was told I clap my hands every time. I'm not going to do it this time. Okay, anyway, what we're going to work on is called a hammer strike. Now, hammer, I mean, if you just think about this part of your hand, if you're pounding on a wall, it's just like you're hitting with a hammer. So that's why we call it the hammer fist, okay? So the one I want to show you is called outward hammer. So from this position, I bring it back and then I strike. Now I don't want to stop on the target. I want to hit the target and go past. That's called follow through. So this hammer strike is going to hit and follow through. So I'm going to use Bob here as a demonstrator for me. We're going to hit right here to the side of the jaw, right on the hinge. Mm. So that strike goes in and follows through. So it's a strike right on through the target. With a person, because we've got such a cool neck thing going on here, when they hit, it causes the head to snap. And that snapping action bounces the brain off the cranium, and that's what causes people to black out. So if you see a good punch in a boxing match, and they snap and they go down, that's what's happening up there. So this strike for self-defense is awesome for that very reason, because it causes that snapping effect. All right, so that's up, hit, follow through. And that's called the outward hammer. So if you'd like to learn more self-defense application techniques like this, come on down to the Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat Training Center in the United States.